Nudura Retrofit Insulation Technology is an easy-to-use insulation solution for finishing traditionally poured concrete or concrete block basements, or insulating interior or exterior above-grade concrete block walls. This product comes in shape-molded sheets that feature interlocking shiplap edges measuring 4 feet by 8 feet or 1.22 by 2.44 meters. The product is also available in two different thicknesses, 2 and 5 eighths inches, or 67 millimeters, and 3 and 1 half inches, or 89 millimeters. Additionally, each panel also features a 1 and a half inch, or 38 millimeter wide wood fastening strip that is pre-molded flush to the panel surface and positioned parallel to the panel length at 16 inch, or 400 millimeter, centers. This feature makes for easy one-step installation and finishing when compared to conventional multi-step finishing methods. The Nudura Retrofit Insulation Panels can provide an increase in thermal resistance of up to R14 or RSI 2.47 to your existing wall's current insulation performance. Before installation of the panels begins, remove any excess concrete debris that may have seeped between forming panels during the original concrete pour of the foundation. Simply chip off the excess concrete with a brick chisel or concrete chisel to ensure that the panels will sit flat against the foundation wall. The insulation of the joist cavity is shown in this video as an optional step that you can take to insulate your home more efficiently. By insulating this area, you'll be helping to prevent a major point of energy loss in your home. To insulate the joist cavity, simply take the measurements and then cut and install the insulation to the required measurement. In this video, we are using 3.5 inch or 89 millimeter thick EPS foam insulation, the same thickness as our insulation technology panel. Once the pieces have been placed, a bead of Nudura spray foam can then be applied to fully seal the perimeter for superior insulation value. Depending upon the ceiling height, notching the Nudura panel to fit around the floor joists is also an option. Starting at the corner of the foundation wall, remove the Nudura Insulation Technology Panel vertical shiplap edge so the placement of panel B, which we will talk about in a moment, can be positioned properly. To remove the shiplap edge, mark a line approximately one and a half inches or 38 millimeters in from the panel edge down the full length of the long side of the panel. Then cut and remove the projection segment. A variety of tools can be used to cut the Nudura panels. A pruning saw, as shown here in this video, a utility knife, an electric chainsaw, or a circular saw. Removing the shiplap edge from the top and bottom of the panels may also be necessary depending upon your ceiling height. Refer to Figure 5 of the Installation Guide and Technical Data Sheet at Nudura.com for instructions on what to do when ceiling heights may vary. And here's an important note. Be sure to place the insulation technology panels so that the shiplap edge is positioned in an open condition to enable the panels to be placed easily over top of one another. It's recommended that you use a hammer drill to drill the pilot holes for the fasteners. For walls less than 8 feet or 2.44 meters in height, you can cut the insulation technology to fit around the floor joists. Refer to the insulation guide and technical data sheet at Nudura.com for further recommendations. To ensure drywall is not interfered with during placement, ensure you are using flathead screws that will sit flush to the wood furring strips after placement. To make fastening the panels easier, place your first fastener into the middle of the panel on the fastening strip to hold it in place. Fasteners are to be placed vertically every 2 feet on center or 600 millimeters on center up the vertical length of the fastening strip. Once the panel is secure, place the next panel in place using the shiplap system. As we mentioned earlier, panel B will also have to have one of its shiplap edges removed to enable it to be placed against panel A, leaving a 1 half inch or 12 millimeter gap between the two panels. This installation step will have to be repeated at every inside corner to ensure proper anchorage of the drywall at this condition. Each corner is then filled with Nudura Low Expansion Spray Foam to complete the thermal envelope between the two panels.
For installation around windows, cut and remove the appropriate amount of panel to, needed to clear the window, and then fasten as previously mentioned. When installing the panels around windows, there may be a gap between the cut panel and the window frame. Once installation is complete, fill the gap between the window and the insulation with Nudura Low Expansion Spray Foam to complete the insulation envelope around the window. To install electrical wiring, there are a variety of methods that can be used to cut wire chases into the foam. A hot knife, sized to cut a 3 8 inch or 10 millimeter wide cut. A router, or a utility knife as will be shown here. One important note, for ease of work, do not cut through the wood fastening strips. The wiring can easily be fed behind the fastening strip by simply removing the EPS foam. This will be shown later on in this segment. Determine where all the electrical boxes are to be placed by measuring from the bottom of the panel to the required height. Then simply press the electrical box against the foam to create an indentation. Then mark the area. Once all the electrical box heights have been measured, measure from the top of the outlined area about 3 inches or 75 millimeters above the outlet around the full perimeter of the room and then snap a chalk line around the perimeter to provide a guide for cutting the chase for running electric wiring to feed the other outlets around the room. Once all of the areas have been marked, remove the foam from where the electrical boxes will be placed. Then continue removing the foam from the electrical chases where the wiring will be placed around the perimeter. Another important note, all electrical chases must be cut to a minimum depth of 1 and 3 quarter inches or 45 millimeters in order for any wiring running through the foam to conform to most prevailing electrical codes. This is to ensure that there's always a minimum clearance of 1 and 1 quarter inches or 30 millimeters from the interior face of the finish to the face of the wire to prevent accidental puncture by a fastener or screw. When running wires horizontally through the panels, it's important that the wire is running behind the fastening strips and that the wire is firmly embedded to the very back of the foam chase. Using scrap foam pieces cut to fit snug inside the channels will help hold the wire in place during installation. Before final placement of any electrical box, fill the back of the hole with Nudura Low Expansion Spray Foam to create a thermal seal to the foam panel itself. Electrical boxes are easily fastened to the wood fastening strips by using standard coarse thread wood screws. It's also recommended that electrical boxes that feature a front mounting flange like the one shown in this video are used to make anchorage of the boxes easier. Once all electrical boxes and wiring have been placed, fill the entire cavity with Nudura Low Expansion Spray Foam. Note, once the foam dries, Simply shave the excess foam flush to the face of the panels with a utility knife. To fulfill minimum building code requirements for thermal barrier protection, install 1 half inch or 12.7 millimeter thick drywall over the Nudura insulation technology by connecting the drywall to the wood fastening strips using 1 and a quarter inch or 30 millimeter long drywall screws. Fastening strips are located on the panels at 16 inches or 400 millimeters on center for easy installation. For inside corner installation of drywall, place the first piece to ensure that the second piece is locked in place. Refer to standard drywall installation practices for further information. In some instances, it may be necessary to install a piece of aluminum or sheet metal on the outside corners for drywall and corner beam installation. To install the angle, Cut to measure the 90 degree insert and install it at the same time as drywall installation is proceeding. Attach the drywall to the fastening strips furthest from the corner. Once the drywall is tacked in place, slide the prefolded 90 degree material behind the drywall on one side of the corner. Secure screws through the drywall face into the angle. Then install the opposing drywall and anchor it firmly into position in a similar fashion. The drywall is now ready for taping and finishing. For more information on Nudura insulation technology and additional technical data, please visit Nudura.com or call us at 1-866-378-1800.
468-6299.